Welcome back guys to the Minecraft Military Force, I'm Crafty Fox, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this DODX Department of Defense 40,000 series 68 foot flat car. And this is used by the US military to transport mainly heavy uh, military equipment like the Abrams tank. We have the Bradley IFV and also the M109 Paladins, the M88 Armored Recovery Vehicle, or you could just build it by itself like this. And um, yeah, this is just one type of flat car the US military uses, but it's mainly the one used to uh, carry Abrams tank. And it's special because it actually has a three axle bogey. Most freight cars will just have two axle bogeys, but these are really heavy duty and they're equipped with these channels. So there's two channels here and there's like a little separation here. And the reason for those channels is because these things are tied down. So I have the Abrams tank, which I already have a tutorial of. Uh, but you want to actually modify it a little bit because when you're transporting them, they actually remove the machine gun. So I completely remove the machine gun here, move the machine gun here, and also remove the antennas. You don't want that on the train. And also you want to get rid of the gun on the Bradley and, you know, the rest of the antennas, stuff like that. And, you know, it's really simple design just to tie them down, just a fence gate and trap door. And it connects with the bottom channel here. So if you ever wanted to have a military train, here is your opportunity. Just follow um, any of those tutorials uh, for the tanks. And if you want to have a locomotive in the front, I would recommend you build something like a Jivo, like an ES-44 or ET-44 or an SD-70 ACE. Those types of mainline locomotives, just put them in the front. I have a lot of tutorials on my Crafty Fox MC channel. And when you're placing the tanks on the flat cars, just make sure they actually fit in like one side. So here is actually the dividing line. It goes all the way across the middle. You don't want the tank to go across it on top. So they're gonna be equally spaced. And I actually got the idea for this tutorial video because Fat Rock actually commissioned the DODX nuclear flask um, train. And that included this buffer car and it's really similar to this uh, car, although it's slightly different. It turns out this is the 40,000 series while the Buffer cars like the 39,000 series. So if you want to build a nuclear waste train, uh, just check out my other channel, Crafty Fox MC. This deals with nuclear material used for U.S. Navy reactors, I believe, especially on their military bases for submarines or aircraft carriers that use nuclear power, and they need some way to uh, get rid of the waste. I also have it in two different colors, although Minecraft, they don't have enough green variety. I wish this was a brighter green, like a little bit of turquoise, but uh, yeah, here is actually the green concrete one. And then here we have the green terracotta one. So this is more of a dull green. Oh, this is more of a brighter green, although real life this one's even more brighter than this. You can change the color just to add in more variety and also the underside, you can see uh, we're using warp trap doors here while the other one is using spruce trap doors. So it depends on which one you want, but basically they're kind of the same thing, just reskinned, I guess. For this tutorial, I'm just gonna be building the one with green concrete. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. All right, so first off, let's grab some materials. We're gonna take out our green concrete, a dark oak slab, and trap door, fence gate, a brown terracotta, a hopper, a warp trap door, dark person marine slab. All right, so first off, we'll add in a dark oak fence gate here, dark oak um, slab on top, dark oak trap door right behind it. Then on top, we'll add in a green concrete like this. And we're gonna make this middle part so it's going to be 31 blocks long, just like that. And the other side, a dark oak slab and our fence gate underneath. All right, so let's go back over here. We'll add in green concrete, you know, two blocks wide this way. And we're gonna extend the edge so it matches all the way across as well. Then we'll go down here and we're gonna skip two blocks and add in our brown terracotta, skip a block, another one, skip block, another one. Hoppers on the sides of the wheels, a dark oak fence gate in between, dark oak slabs in between here, the inside we'll add in dark oak fence gates for the axles and then dark oak slabs in between here just like that then we're going to add in our heavy weighted pressure plate here in the middle and then dark prism marine stairs three blocks long so one two three green concrete like that and then a heavy weighted pressure plate here 
Then on the edge, we'll go down here, add in an oak fence gate, open up towards the inside. Oak sign on the outside. And then we'll add in dark prismarine stairs, 11 blocks long. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Then the middle, we'll add in birch buttons like this, cross. And the side, we'll add in a white glass pane. This is going to be our middle mark. Then we'll skip a block here, add a heavy weighted pressure plate. Go diagonally outside, add in polished blackstone button, and then a redstone dust. Then we'll skip two blocks and do the same thing, just the other way around. And the edge, redstone dust, and polished blackstone button like that. In between here, we'll add in a white glass pane like that. Then we'll go down here, add in a warp trap door. And then dark person marine slab. And then we'll go right here to the middle part. Add in dark prismarine slab, and we're to connect it to the front area. Then we'll add a dark, dark prismarine slab here, and then some warp trap door. And then we want to skip four blocks at so one, two, three, four, and then add in another rib here. So there's four, and then right there. All right, next up, we'll add in a birch bun next to this. Skip a block, add an oak button. Over here, oak button, and skip to oak button like that. Then I'm going to add in a birch button next to this glass pane. And we'll also add in this end rod, and that's going to be facing towards the inside, just like that. Then we'll copy everything that we did on this side, and this is the midpoint, and build it the other way. All right, once we've built the other side, it should look like that. Then we'll copy everything we did on this side and build the other half. All right, so once we have both halves, it looks like this. Then we'll go off to this side, add in a chain, and then two birch buttons over here. While the other side, we'll add in a birch button on the right and chain on the left, just like that. Then we'll go to the side here, add in a birch button here, another two birch buttons here, another birch button here, then in between, there's going to be a warp button right here, and then a birch button here, and then another birch button right there. Then we're also going to go add a dark oak sign to the side of this. And then the other side, we'll add in a birch button here, birch button here, a warp button over here, birch button, and then another birch button here. Skip a block, birch button here, birch button here, and then dark oak sign. And then this part is actually going to be the handbrake. So that's just two blocks wide, green glass panes, just like that. Then we'll go down below. In between this part, we'll add in two warp trap doors. We'll go off to this section, a warp fence gate, open that up. Skip a block, another warp fence gate like that. Then we'll go off to the other side, add in two dark prismarine slabs. And then warp fence gate, two blocks long, and then a zombie head here. Another warp fence gate. And over here it's going to be a um, warp button like that. And yeah, that should be pretty much it on how to build the DODX flat car for the 40,000 series. So you can load up an Abrams tank train or heavy armored equipment and just to tie them down again you know just use dark oak fence gate and a trap door down like that uh, but yeah if you guys enjoy this video make sure you hit that like button down below check out our discord and minecraft servers subscribe if you had already and i'll see you guys in the next one bye